Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that's absolutely vital to keeping your car running right, engine sensors. These little guys are like the brains of your engine telling the computer what's going on so it can make adjustments and keep everything running smooth. We're going to cover a whole bunch of them, so buckle up. First up, we got the Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAF for short. This little guy is usually located between your air filter and the throttle body, and its job is to measure how much air is going into your engine. The computer in your car, the ECU, uses that information to figure out how much fuel to inject. Too much air, you run lean. Too little, you run rich. Neither one's good, and that's where the MAF sensor comes in. If your car hesitates, idles rough, or stalls, your MAF sensor might need a cleaning or replacing. You can try cleaning it with some MAF sensor cleaner, but be careful, those wires are delicate. Remember, a happy MAF sensor means a happy engine. Next up, we got the oxygen sensor or O2 sensor. This little fella hangs out in your exhaust pipe and sniffs out how much oxygen's coming out of the engine. The O2 sensor tells the computer if the engine's burning fuel efficiently. Too much oxygen in the exhaust means it's running lean. Not enough means it's running rich. A bad O2 sensor can mess up your fuel economy and damage your catalytic converter. If you notice poor gas mileage or fail an emissions test, check your O2 sensor. Remember, a happy O2 sensor means you're doing your part for the environment. Now let's talk about the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, or MAP sensor. This little guy is all about pressure, specifically the pressure inside your intake manifold. The MAP sensor takes that pressure reading and sends it to the ECU, which then uses it to figure out how much fuel to inject and when to fire the spark plugs. A bad MAP sensor can cause rough idling, poor acceleration and engine pinging. You can try cleaning it with some electrical contact cleaner, but sometimes it's just better to replace it. Remember, a happy MAP sensor means a happy engine. All right, let's talk about the Throttle Position Sensor, or TPS. This little guy is mounted on the throttle body and measures how far you're pushing down the gas pedal. The TPS sends a signal to the ECU, which then adjusts the fuel injection and ignition timing accordingly. If your TPS goes bad, it can cause hesitations, rough idling, or even your check engine light coming on. Replacing a TPS is usually a straightforward job, even for a beginner mechanic. Remember, a happy TPS means a happy engine. All right, let's talk about the Coolant Temperature Sensor, or CTS. This little guy keeps an eye on the temperature of your engine coolant and tells the computer how hot or cold things are running. The ECU uses that information to adjust the fuel injection and ignition timing for optimal performance and emissions. If your CTS goes bad, it can cause hard starting, rough idling, poor fuel economy, and even overheating. Replacing a CTS is usually a pretty easy job, but it does involve draining some of your coolant. Remember, a happy CTS means a happy engine. Now we're getting to the heart of the matter, the crankshaft position sensor or CKP sensor. This little guy is responsible for telling the computer where the crankshaft is at all times. The CKP sensor sends a signal to the ECU, which then uses it to determine the engine speed and position. If your CKP sensor goes bad, your car might not start at all. You might also experience misfires, rough idling and a loss of power. Replacing a CKP sensor can be tricky, but it's doable with the right tools and patience. Remember, a happy CKP sensor means a happy engine. Chapter 7. Camshaft Position Sensor Keeping Things in Time Alright, let's talk about the Camshaft Position Sensor, or CMP Sensor. This little guy works in tandem with the Crankshaft Position Sensor to make sure your engine's running smooth. The CMP Sensor sends a signal to the ECU, which then uses it to determine the precise timing of the fuel injection and ignition. If your CMP Sensor goes bad, you might experience rough idling, poor fuel economy, a loss of power and even a stall in engine. Remember, a happy CMP Sensor means a happy engine. Engine. Chapter 8. Knock Sensor. Listening for Trouble. Now let's talk about the Knock Sensor, or KS. This little guy listens for any unusual noises like pinging or knocking, which can indicate a problem with the combustion process. If your KS goes bad, it can allow detonation to occur unchecked, leading to serious engine damage. Replacing a KS is usually straightforward, but make sure you get the right one for your car. Remember, 
A happy KS means a happy engine. Chapter 9, Intake Air Temperature Sensor, Keeping Things Cool Under Pressure. All right, let's talk about the Intake Air Temperature Sensor, or IAT Sensor. The IAT Sensor tells the computer how hot or cold the intake air is, which is important for optimal combustion. If your IAT Sensor goes bad, you might experience poor fuel economy, hesitation during acceleration, and even black smoke from your tailpipe. Replacing an IAT sensor is usually easy and can often be done with just a few basic tools. Remember, a happy IAT sensor means a happy engine. Chapter 10, Fuel Pressure Sensor, the fuel gauge for your engine. Now let's talk about the fuel pressure sensor or FPS. This little guy tells the computer how much pressure is in the fuel system. If your FPS goes bad, you might experience hard start and rough idling, poor fuel economy, and even a stalling engine. Replacing an FPS can be tricky as it often involves working with the fuel system. Remember, a happy FPS means a happy engine. Chapter 11. Exhaust gas temperature sensor keeping things from getting too hot. All right, let's talk about the exhaust gas temperature sensor or EGT sensor. The EGT sensor measures the temperature of the exhaust gases and sends that information to the ECU. If your EGT sensor goes bad, it can eventually lead to a failed catalytic converter. Replacing an EGT sensor can be a bit of a pain as it's located in the exhaust system. Remember, a happy EGT sensor means a happy catalytic converter, and a happy catalytic converter means you're not going to be shelling out big bucks for a new one. Chapter 12. Vehicle Speed Sensor More Than Just Telling You How Fast You're Going now let's talk about the Vehicle Speed Sensor, or VSS. The VSS measures the speed of your vehicle by monitoring the rotation of the transmission output shaft or a wheel speed sensor. If your VSS goes bad, you might experience a malfunction speedometer, erratic shifting, and problems with your ABS system. Replacing a VSS can be tricky as it's often located on the transmission. Remember, a happy VSS means a happy car. A happy... All right. Let's talk about the EGR valve position sensor. This little guy plays a big role in reducing harmful emissions and keeping your car running clean. The EGR valve position sensor tells the ECU how far open the EGR valve is, allowing the ECU to control the amount of exhaust gas being recirculated. If your EGR valve position sensor goes bad, you might experience rough idling, engine pinging, increased NOx emissions, and even a check engine light. Replacing an EGR valve position sensor is usually straightforward. Remember, a happy EGR valve position sensor means a happy planet. Now, let's talk about the oil pressure sensor. This little guy monitors the lifeblood of your engine, the oil pressure, and alerts you if there's a problem. The oil pressure sensor measures the pressure of the oil being pumped through your engine. If your oil pressure sensor goes bad, it can give you a false reading, either indicating low oil pressure when there isn't a problem or failing to warn you of low oil pressure when there is one. Replacing an oil pressure sensor is usually easy, but address any oil pressure problems immediately. Remember, a happy oil pressure sensor means a happy engine. Finally, let's talk about the air fuel ratio sensor or AFR sensor. This little guy fine-tunes your engine for maximum efficiency and minimal emissions. The AFR sensor provides the ECU with precise measurements of the air-fuel mixture entering the engine. If your AFR sensor goes bad, you might experience poor fuel economy, hesitation during acceleration, black smoke from the tailpipe, and even a check engine light. Replacing an AFR sensor can be pricey, but it's important to address any problems with it promptly. Remember, a happy AFR sensor means a happy engine. Well, there you have it, folks, a crash course on the wonderful world of car engine sensors. These little guys might be small, but they play a huge role in keeping your car running smooth, efficient and out of the repair shop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more car repair tips and tricks. Until next time, drive safe and keep those engines roaring.